Sharing our life in Christ in service. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And he said unto him, What is written in the law, and how readest thou? And he answered and said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right, this do, and thou shalt live. He answered and said unto him, Thou hast answered right, this do, and thou shalt live. You know what to say? Now go do it. You've preached. Now go practice what you've preached. If you really want to live, you've got to come to the Lord Jesus Christ let him give you life that will never end. And then go and share that life that you have with others. If you really want to live, you must love God and neighbor in that order. We must love God and neighbor in that order. Our theology has got to be expressed in our sociology. One cannot be human alone. It takes God and another. And if you really want to live, you've got to love God and neighbor. We must love God and then neighbor in that order. I said, we're trying to pay men to live peaceably one with the other. Don't you know God is the only one who has to love, who loves without a reason. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. But human beings love for reason. I hear the psalmist saying, I love the Lord because. He has heard my voice and my supplication because. But God loves us without our being lovable or lovely. God loves us. He does not love us because we are valuable, but we are valuable because God loves us. God loves us not because Jesus died for us, but Jesus died for us because God loves us. And if God love us and now reason for being here in this world is that we might glorify him not glorify ourselves or our neighbor but glorify God you know the trouble with us in our day is we are trying to love each other we are trying to get along with each other without God in the last decade or so, we have spent millions trying to get men to live peaceably one with the other. Now you will know that men quit acting like brothers in Cain and Abel's day. We say we have a racial problem, our problem is racial, 
But I submit to you that our problem is not a skin problem, it's a sin problem. Cain and Abel were the sons of the same father and mother, and thereby of the same race. And Cain killed Abel. And then, if you think that it's just a skin problem, if you're going down a dark stretch of the road at night and you hear some footsteps behind you, you don't wonder what color that man is. You want to know the condition of his heart. <laughs> 